Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Bo here from Guitars and Games. How are you all doing today? Hope you all are doing really good. Um, I have a game for you today. This is going to be a. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit different today. So this is not a horror game. This is a shooter. This is Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun. Um, this is obviously not going to be a full playthrough of the game. I'm just kind of testing the waters on some different stuff and seeing how it goes over on the channel. So we're going to see how it goes. And I'm going to do this one a little differently because I am going to do this one with no face cam and just commentary. So we'll see how that goes. See how you like it. I'm just testing the waters, trying some new things. So see how things go. I hope everybody out there is doing really good. All right, we are going to switch and I will see you at the game. Okay. Here we are. Warhammer 40k bulk gun. I am a huge fan of the Warhammer universe and it's one of my favorite sci-fi settings. I really do like it. And you know, I'm older, and some of these newer shooters are a little too uh, intense for me. So let's see. I had played this a while ago. Let's just delete that. And let's just start a new game. Medium. I'm not crazy. <laughs> but this is the old school. Okay. Nothing. Once Listen. touched by the hand of chaos, remains untainted. You are under the dominion of the Ordo Malleus. To assist my investigations into a world that has already felt that damn influence. Gryar has been under the close watch of the Inquisition since the Grim Skull War. The Forge world remains largely secure, but... We have picked up concerning energy readings in the surrounding system. I have my suspicions, although we have not had sufficient time to pinpoint the origin of these foul energies. While most of the planet remains unaffected, it is my belief that rogue elements within the Adeptus Mechanicus may have been experimenting with a surviving fragment of Inquisitor Drogon's power source. Your mission is to assist me in locating a fragment of the power source. While I consider this threat extremely serious, your superiors have seen fit to second only a handful of you to my supervision. In the absence of a larger force, we should pray to the Emperor that this does not develop into a more dire situation. This servo skull will guide you. In Commodus here is one of the few sanctified and preserved from the purging of Drogon's heretical archives. Together, you will search sites where communication has become sporadic. Should you encounter any opposition, you may assume they have been tainted by the ruinous powers. Tainted so by the powers! While I continue my investigations aboard the Crown, you will be deployed to a habitation zone we lost contact with several cycles ago. You should assume the situation to be extremely hostile. Beware, we do not know how far the taint of the arch enemy spreads. <laughs> Yeah, nobody really knows how far the taint spreads, right? <laughs> All right, we are now entering the game. Let's go. Oh, look at this. Quickly, for the Emperor!
Oh, I'm all turned around. This looks cool. All right. Well, you know, one of these, these games, like old school shooters like this, it's like these newer games just don't have the like, hate to say it, but like the soul of these older games. Oh, I almost made it. You know, like, and then like Warhammer. Oh, I didn't hit it. I'm sorry, I thought I hit it. <laughs> Yes, now I have a key. But like Warhammer is one of those things. It's like the setting, even though it's fantastical, you know, 40,000 years in the future. It's still realistic. Oh, there it is. I've got the bolter. I need all the ammos. Where do I go? Ah, through the back. Okay. Let me pause for one second. There we go. I just had to uh, readjust my seat. All right, now shooting, shooting, shooting. All right, this game is, oh, here we go. What's back here? Oh. I didn't realize I was done with the level. All right. Let's try another level. If you all are still up for it. The mountain batteries. Taunt your enemies with tea. Well, we'll have to definitely taunt. Wrong way. All right, well, we're making our way downtown. Walking fast. Something, something inbound. All right, well, I don't know about you all, but the lack of like, decent shooters recently, you know, has just been like, and then like, I mean, I'm almost really like, dude, like, just thinking about stopping online gaming right now. Or like, online multiplayer shooters. Because it's like, the gaming is just not fun anymore, you know? And it's like, everything is a sweat fest, and everything is like... You know, if you can't slide, cancel, jump just right, you know, you can't win a flipping game. You know, and it's like, 
It's not casual anymore. It's what I miss. I miss the like casual aspect where, you know, when I was in my teens, come home from high school, you know, and play some video games for fun and just not even like care. You know what I mean? Not even like worry about like what my KD is or my win to loss ratio or you know like any of that garbage that you have to like freaking like everybody's like kill check KD check knock check damage check you know and it gets so flipping annoying after a while and you just don't want to do it you know you just don't want to like I mean I have some friends who still play Call of Duty okay I love Call of Duty. I grew up playing Call of Duty. I hate it so much now. Where am I going? I have no idea where I'm going. The servo skull is not really helping with this whole navigation thing. I'm sorry. Um, well, we can talk while I try and figure out where I am. But... You know, it's just like, it's not fun anymore. It's like, I literally, the last time I turned on Call of Duty, I literally thought, like, I was like, I got done playing, and it was like, never again. Never again am I playing this garbage-ass game. And the thing is, like, it didn't used to be garbage. It used to be amazing. Where am I going? Oh, here. You know, it, you, I love Black Ops 2. I mean, I spent so many hours in Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3, the original one. What, 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 what? what was that a secret? I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh god, I got stuck on the wall. No. But you know, like, I spent so much time on those games. That like... Whoa, I didn't even see you there. I'm missing a key. Well, where's the key? I'm assuming it might be up here since this is the one place I didn't go that would be the way there is look there's a key but uh you know it's like I mean now you know you go in you, I've seen people on Call of Duty like literally Superman flying around the map shooting people with headshots from a pistol you know Apex you know just got destroyed by a hacker which you know luckily this time it wasn't a malicious hacker you know what I mean it was just a guy trying to expose Apex for its vulnerabilities which so like that's good you know luckily this time but man I've like you know, it's like, what's the point of going into games when you know that, like, every lobby there's going to be a cheater. Every lobby there's going to be a cheater. Every lobby there's going to be, like, you know, horrible, racist slurs. I... Now, don't get me wrong. I am all about... Trash talking. Whoa. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I am all about trash talking. I will trash talk with the best of them. I am okay with that. But, like, when it goes beyond the trash talking into, like, that meanness.
I did not mean to stand there for a second. I just kind of froze for a second because I was like, I got kind of weirded out because I was trying to think of something to say. Ooh, secret discovered. What'd I get? And like, but so like, yeah, so it's like, you know, trash talking's good. But they don't trash talk anymore. It's like, You know what's funny? It's like these little kids on there saying shit that, you know, you'd never see them say in public. Which I think is funny as hell. That's what I always love. There's like, they say shit on this, when you're online with people. And there's just obviously no way they'd ever say that shit in public. And that's what, you know, but I digress. That's more along the lines of what I was saying. It's just like, it's just not fun anymore to like, play online. I got a little uh, invisi invincible invincibility. It's always fun the invincibility thing you get. You can use it in, like you go into like, god mode for a few seconds. Remember those on the old games like Doom and Wolfenstein. I have no ammo. I have no ammo at all. <laughs> all right. The luckily we're a space marine and we don't really need ammo most of the time. <laughs> oh, ammo! <laughs> That was a quick reload there. Did you see it? Cha -cha 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 -cha. All right. I need to stock up on the ammos here. What did that activate? Ooh, secret. Look at that animation though on that gun. Still cooler than most of the COD co camo animations. <laughs> I don't know, I just really, really like the Warhammer universe. Do I have to do it in a certain amount of time? No, that one's done too. Oh, do I have to do all of me? There's more. No. We go this way. Do we go, maybe we go up. Maybe that's what we do, we go up.
Is there a way to get out over here and I can go up on the... No. You're not much help, Servo Skull. The Servo Skull's not really that much help. Let's go this way. Uh. I found the right way! Enemies this way! Whoa! There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go! Yeah! For the Emperor! All the heretics must fall before the Emperor! No one stands in the way of the Space Marines. Even low Ah, frog! Oh, jeez. That was creepy as hell. <laughs> but you know, I don't know. I hope you all are enjoying this. I am really digging this shooter so far. I really love it. You know, it's like, for me, it's a huge nostalgia trip. Because, gosh, I remember when Doom first came out, like, on... That was like, people were just like, it was amazing. You know, people were insane about Doom. What's grenade? There we go. <laughs> to figure out what grenade was. <laughs> I guess I should look that up before the uh, gameplay. You know, you, you, you know, do you know what you're doing? Do you know how to throw a grenade? Well, you do now. All right, give me all the ammos. All right. Whoa. Activate the elevator. Activate the elevator. Whoa! All right. Let's see. Uh, getting all the ammos. Make sure I'm reloaded. Have perimeter is about to praise the Omnissiah. Um, yes. Somebody shoot me from down here. Oh, who did that? I will shoot you in the face. Oh, is that not where I'm supposed to go? Oh, that's just a barricade. All right. <laughs> Oh, 
Is there a thing over here? No, no, no. Level complete. There we go. Now I got three secrets. That is pretty cool. But let's go back to the scene. Well, I'm going to leave that there. This is just a little taste and I just wanted to see how you all thought about this game if you want me to keep playing it or if you want you know something else we can always change I just was testing out because I really like this game it's it's kind of like reminds it's very nostalgic for me so that's why I like it man it got really bright in here between the time I uh switch so before you get blinded I am going to leave that here. You all have a great day. I will see you all soon. All right? Bye-bye.